Daddy has a surprise for you. <gasps> Look, Landon. Look. <gasps> Is that your new play area? Actually, in Montessori, we call it work, apparently. Uh, uh, yeah, you made that up there. Hey, baby girl. Uh, <laughs> Is it fun? Of all your toys. It's your work area now, apparently. It's your work area. Uh, uh, go get it. Go get it. Uh, it's Red Panda. Yeah, lion. A lion. Oh, oh alpaca, Daddy. She's showing you alpaca. Look, there's a squirrel. Oh, squirrel. Uh, Hi, squirrel. Whoa. Bird. Yeah, there's two birds out there. All right, <laughs> the birds and the squirrel are taking whoa. away from her shelves. Tough to compete with, mommy. She'll be able to reach the top. Alligator. What? She'll be able to reach the things on the top, but. Is that your hat? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Look, fill it up. Water. You put this in. Put it in. You put this one in. Good job. Gentle with them, okay? You have to be gentle flowers. Oh, so beautiful. We should put your pumpkins in here too. They're standard. Do you love them? Oh. She said flower. I am doing a nighttime tour of our playroom, Montessori inspired playroom because it is the middle of October and we have started decorating and it's a spooky Halloween playroom. This is just a temporary space right now. This wall will be coming down and our kitchen will be remodeled after the holidays. So um, let's start with the shelves. I got these from Birch Lane. I looked at birch wood shelves but I just wanted something white and I felt like these fit this space perfect and that does come with another shelf but I took it out those are from Amazon I got those a while ago because I wanted to do like a woodland theme for her playroom in the basement and we live in the woods so we have squirrel deer and fox that are often on our property that she sees Above here, we have her first finger painting she ever did with pudding and an L and our nest cam to keep an eye on her. These are amazing. I have a cat who likes to eat plants, flowers, <laughs> when I put them out. So whenever I have any, I like to put them up high on the mantle. So I found these on Birch Lane. So they're little jars that will come out if you wanna empty them and clean them. And I got these really cute flowers from Trader Joe's. They're like Halloween spooky flowers. Hey Landon, can you help mommy? Pretty flowers, huh? Do I put them in? Please. You have to be gentle, okay? Gentle. They're Halloween flowers. Yeah. Good job. These are going to have to go in a different, these are too big. You didn't like that one? Pretty flowers. Uh -huh. Pumpkin. This is a Pottery Barn chair that her Aunt Joanne got. And we have spooky themed books in her cauldron. Oh, it's 8 o'clock. We have a smart home and my husband set it for 8 o'clock. So here's the nighttime spooky lighting. I thought it would freak her out, but she loves it. It comes on at eight, so she's only seen it like twice. So she absolutely loves to read. She will grab her books and sit here for a very long time. 
and read with her books. So I have some spooky books in here that she really likes um, for Halloween. The Little Gardener is one of her favorite. She loves this one to look at vegetables. And speaking of vegetables and fruit, I have a little tray here on our fireplace because whenever she would be at the sink washing her hands, she would see the fruit. She kind of had a language explosion about three weeks ago. She wants me to name everything and she is just talking up a storm. So she says banana, apple, lemon. She's kind of said lime. She's, she said cado for avocado. So she comes over here and she holds it. And I had a plastic shopping cart with plastic fruit but I just figured the real thing was better for her. So I also have this Atticus which is from Target. This she's had since seven months and she still loves putting these on these shapes so I've kept it in here and that's really the only thing she does with that. Um, I keep this in here so I'll read it when she's playing or reading. So in the room we get lots of natural light on this side and then this door goes out to the deck and there's a big bird feeder out there and we get a ton of birds and she loves to watch them and she says, a bird. It is so cute. Apple and a bird sounds very much alike. So we have two lambs that match from Target. This, I, it's just twine that I tied up and we did some finger painting Yellow. the other day. And I tell her it's a picture and you have to be gentle and isn't it pretty? And she says pretty. And then I got these little um, clothespin holders from Target and I just put her name and date on there. Um, Mickey's amazing. She loves the hot dog song. In fact, she just said hot dog today. And then he does red light, green light um, next. and. We stop and freeze and she started to freeze when she dances and she dances with him. She kicks her feet, it's so cute. Her Einstein piano, that was one of the first words she learned was, not one of the first, but when she had her language explosion. And when you press the three, it um, says yellow sometimes. So she said yellow pretty quickly from that. And then in here we have a Vampirina guitar, drums, music makers. She loves this thing. These things from Target. She loves balls, throws them so far, it's insane. This was old gum that I had, so I just taped it up, and it's such a fun sound, and she loves it. This was a little jumper that I got from Target when she was four months old. So you flip it over and it's a table, and that's my husband's chair for when he was a baby. So that's what I have right now for table and chairs, but I do wanna get something else. Um, I hate how the paint clashes with <laughs> the velvet curtains. I might move it over there. I don't know, we just redid this. Okay, so let me show you her shelves. So we have her pumpkins, and I found tried to get the ones with the most stem. She's obsessed with pumpkins. She grabs this and carries it everywhere. And she says pumpkin, and she loves it. This is actually from Animal Kingdom at Disney. It's the coolest little thing. It makes so many different sounds. It doesn't sound as good on these shelves, but... And she's like learned to put this back. It usually ends up like that, but she's working on that. Um, I got these off Amazon, Melissa and Doug, to not overwhelm her because she's just 16 months. Um, I just put out like six of them in this and they sit up here because she puts these around her neck. So I just want to make sure she's supervised when she uses that. And then, so as far as the trays, she hasn't gotten that yet, so I model it for her as much as possible, but I wanna give her the freedom just to do whatever. She's only 16 and a half months. So, um, and this is heavy on a tray, but she picked this up. I thought this would take a long time. I showed it to her, didn't, you know, slow and don't talk like that, and it took her like three times and then she got it. And she still gets frustrated pretty easily with it, especially if she's teething, which is all the time. Where'd they go? It's just, I think this is fantastic for her age, and this is a beautiful little olive thing I got from Trader Joe's like a year ago. 
and that just fit it perfectly. How cute is that? This is, I think this is like for six year olds or four year olds. It's a Melissa and Doug. I love how Melissa and Doug, um, they come in these little containers that are so cute. So what I did is, um, this was a puzzle to teach them, I forget what the other side is. Oh, letters. So like for lemon, there's like an L. So I did this for language because she's having such a language explosion right now. So what she does, and she knows what to do, she does this. She'll pull it out and go like this. And then um, when she wants me to tell her what it is, she'll go, uh, uh, uh. And she knows apple and watermelon. So basically what I do is I just pull it out all of the things that she knows and not too many of them so she's not overwhelmed. These we got at the little Brandywine Zoo and she absolutely loves them. The red panda and the alpaca. Um, she asked me, she'll pick them up and ask me to tell her what it is. She's gotten close to saying alpaca. And then this is a Melissa and Doug puzzle she really likes. Um, so we'll bring that down and she, she gets frustrated easily, but she does get them in there or close to them. And then she'll ask me what they are. And I don't know if she, she can't say any of those. This I just put together and she absolutely loves it. So I got these at Target. I've heard just in my research with Montessori how much kids love those. And I had this mini muffin pan. So she puts them in here and loves them. And then I've sat this here so Eventually, she could work on using tongs with it. Oops. And then her favorite thing right now to do is to dump things out and put it back in the container and then walk around with the container. So that's just been a real hit. These were a gift from my husband's cousin who has a little girl a little bit older and she loves it. It's Melissa and Doug. And it's just amazing. Melissa and Doug's amazing. Like, just take all of my money, Melissa and Doug. Hi, Chester. The rare white cat spotted. So she's not very good at putting the shapes in here. I think it's too complicated for her. But she puts them in here and her little hand fits in and she pulls them out. And I'll stack them up and she'll knock them down. And she'll do like one or two or two or three stacked as well. This is a shape sorter that she loves and she actually is pretty good with this. She knows how to lift it up and then put shapes in here and push it through. So she's learned how to do this. It's not very Montessori, but it teaches her about practical life. She can say plate, she can say star, she can say fork, she can say cup. So um, it's a, you know, it's kind of a mixed thing of shapes, shape sorter, oh that's hard, and practical life. Um, I am a Disney mom, Montessori mom, so we have Disney princesses. This blue plane she's obsessed with. She loves pushing it around. She likes Pepe, the puppy. He's just a pull toy. So I think that is our playroom as it is right now. I would love to get a teepee or swing eventually, but maybe that will go down in the basement. And then I've set up, there's a closet in the basement with shelves and I have um, set up all of her toys down there so we can do, um, what is it called? I'm new to Montessori, so. Switch, when you switch out the toys, whatever it's called, you know what it is. Thanks for watching guys, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Montessori inspired spaces.